What's going on guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this beat right here using a uh, TikTok sample. I'm also sounding kind of sick today, so yeah, sorry about that. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the sample real quick, and then uh, I'll show you how I made the beat. So yeah, that was the sample right there, and uh, I also posted a remix of this on TikTok already, so if you want to get checked out quickly, you can check that out and then come back here and uh, see how I did it. So what I started off with is, uh, you know, I just downloaded the video real quick, turned that into a uh, audio file, as you can see down here, and this is how it looked like at the start, so this was only, the only thing I had. So what I usually do when I get these type of samples and I have no idea what the BPM or anything is, so what I'll do is I'll just usually put a new pattern down and just put these simple claps down right here, and then just pull that in. This sample's actually a bit easier because they already clapped during the video, so that kind of helps you get the rhythm. But yeah, so what I did is I, what I usually do is I just cut this down here, and as you can see, it starts off in the middle of it already though. So that's no good, so I usually cut this out as well. And just go up to the first one, like here, and then listen to it real quick. Mama got that bunch of crunch cake. Mama got that bunch of crunch. Uh, so the next thing I do after I've kind of like cut out the part that I want, so that's kind of like the main part that I want right here, uh, is I try and figure out the BPM. So the first thing I'll do to try and figure out the BPM is I'll go into the audio editor and uh, right click up here. And then I'll press auto detect the tempo and I'll just see if it comes up with anything maybe it will help it says 120 here but that's not right which I figured out later so don't always trust that if you try it with that so if that doesn't work with the audio editor and that the next best thing that I always do is just kind of mess around with the BPM itself what I do is just always mess around with the BPM you know mess around with the sample itself you know you can maybe cut up parts push them together a bit and uh, I ended up finding out that the BPM was around 150. I later then turned down the BPM. So as you can see up here, this is how the sample ended up looking like. And um, if I put a clap over it, you can see. So the clap hits, when they clap, uh, the clap also hits. So if you listen to it, then it sounds like this. So yeah, it's uh, it's not easy, it takes a while to do those kind of things, especially if you have no idea what the sample could be, uh, what the tempo could be like and all that stuff, so yeah, just mess around with it and you'll get it. As you can see, that already had some effects on it, so I'll quickly show you the effects that I put on the vocals itself. So I have an EQ on there, like this, cutting out some lows and some highs. Then I have another EQ on there, just cutting out some frequencies that I didn't like, a de a compressor, some reverb, some delay as well and the love filter right here which i have as an automation clip the reverb is also as an automation clip so yeah what i then did when i had that i just dragged in a random uh, loop so when i messed around with it i pitched it back and forth i figured out that the vocals were in a minor so that's why i left the loop at and this is how it sounds together with the loop Mama got that bunch of crunch cake. Mama got that bunch of crunch cake. Mama got that bunch of crunch cake. So after that was done, that was pretty much the basics. I added one more little melody later that I'll show you after. But after that, I just went straight to the drums. What I did was I put down this clap first of all, and then I just layered it with this snare right here. And this is how that sounds like. Mama got that bunch of crunch cake. Mama got that bunch of crunch cake. Uh, then next up, I put down these hi-hats right here. Uh, just a simple pattern, a few things here and there, a few rolls, and this is how it sounds like. Mama got that bunch of crunch cake. Then next up, I put down this 808 right here. It's the RAN 808, and this is how it sounds like. That's how that was sounding like. And then uh, I put down these open nets right here, just following the 808 kind of. I then added this kick right here, just to kind of make those 808s hit a bit harder. I also added this snare over here. This is how it sounds like. Then I also went into arcade, uh, into drip, and I got this sample right here from New Classic. And I also put some EQ on that, some reverb, and some delay. And this is how it sounds like. Then one of the last things I added was this bass as well, just following the same notes as I as the 808s were in. Then 
then the last thing I did was I just took this crash right here, reversed it, so it turns into like a riser, just turned it down a lot and put it here at the start. And that was pretty much it. So yeah, as you can see down here, there's all the different uh, automation clips, but it's just pretty simple. They're just copied over all the time. That's why it looks a bit more complicated than it is. And it's just me messing with the love filter and the reverb of the sample. For like at the start, I wanted it to like come in slowly, the sample, you know, that's why the love filter is all the way down and the reverb is turned all the way up. Yeah, it just sounds smooth when it comes in. And if you don't know how to do automation clips, it's pretty easy. You just uh, go over to the effect that you put down right click over here and press create automation clip and it will appear down here already onto your playlist and then you can mess with it how you want so that's all be right there you can go check it out on tiktok real quick if you want as well leave a like and uh this will be <laughs>